to MacBook. Now I'm going to show you my setup and how to install it. So the first step after the basic installation, by the way in the basic installation I just do the minimum that's needed to get the, this Mac running. You have to agree to the agreement, you have to skip all their steps and then you go come here. So the second thing I do is remove all these things. All right, these two you cannot remove. So the next thing that I will install is brew. And after that's there, I'm going to install Node.js. So this one is going to install a Node 18, <coughs> which is currently the new long time support version, which is fine for me. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll take that one. Besides that, I'm going to install this one and this one and this one and this one. Okay. So this one I can immediately already do. Just copying another command. Oh, it it still it first needs the co developer tools which are actually already being installed right now. So I will run this command a little bit later. A yarn can also be installed with brew. <coughs> brew and star yarn. VS Code. Um, can actually also be, be installed with brew. So let's do that. Brew install cask Visual Studio Code and then draw IO. I'm not sure, but could be could be that they have it. Yeah, it's also a cask install. Um, so we can use that as well. Um, so yeah, then. In the end, I'm just going to write down all those commands for next time. Because I can just make a little script. And whenever I have a new res uh, computer or I reset my computer, 
I can immediately install everything with one little script. Let's brew. So it's still downloading the command line tools. It's taking a little longer than I hoped for. But yeah, this is the basics. Now I can already uh, close my my browser again and never come back. I'm just gonna take a zip of my beer and enjoy the thought of having a super fast laptop. It seems though that the internet is not that speedy here. I think I'm in a dead zone of my room. So, I'm going to be moving now. Maybe it's a bit faster here. Um, yeah, that seems a bit better. So this is the thing that takes the longest to install, those developer tools. But for the rest, everything would be quite fast, I think. Hello. Gonna put this in the corner, makes it a bit more social. Um, so it seems that it finished downloading already, so that's that's good. And now it's just installing it. Um, I guess maybe that this one already works. No. Oh, of course, because I don't have brew yet. And this one doesn't work because I need the command line tools, which is also part of the installation of brew. So basically all these commands don't work yet. So I have to wait for the first one. Unfortunately, it says can't install the software now. And I have to install or fill in my password sometimes. Hope maybe it, it will work. Yeah, the internet is a lot faster here at least. That's great. And let's hope that Brew will be installed after this. It's not going to be a quick video, so just take a beer, enjoy, sit back and relax.
All right. That looks good. And now it tells me, please run this. Two commands to add homebrew to your path. I'll trust them in that. And then I should be able to run it. And yes, it seems that like it worked. Although it did say that the installation was not complete. It does seem to work, so I'm happy. Maybe the developer tools were not installed though. So let's check it out with this command because this one requires the development tools to install OhMySSH. And node is installed. So now it seems that set the sage. Wow, that was fast. It's also working. And what about npm? Yep. And npx. Yep. That's installed with node, by the way. So then I just need to install yarn. And holy shit, that's fast. And Visual Studio Code. That's a big one again. Takes a while. Maybe, uh, oh, it already uh, added it to applications and everything. So it's just single commands. For installing everything, I can basically just. Um, it's already working. Holy shit. Yeah. That's amazing. All right. Just uh, so you can see my face, I'm going to put it here. This one is a bit too big in my opinion. No. So. And turn hiding on. That's great. Thank you. No, it's not even big. Unfortunately, this one is cannot be made smaller, which I think it's weird. But I guess my favorite preferences are to uh, actually put a very small resolution here this is the default you can go one bigger normally i'm i'm using this one I just stopped because i hit quit unfortunately it quit the video instead of draw io anyway it seems that i can safely exit this process now and if i open a new terminal it's opening 
the new thing. Uh, now I will just go. Oh. I'll just open this thing and start coding. So that's all you need to do on a Mac to start coding. It just took me half an hour. And of course, it's a lot of waiting and drinking beer. But depending on your internet connection, it may take a little longer. Or shorter. Um, anyway, these are uh, the only commands that I need currently to get started to get coding. All I need to know, do now is this um, just gonna make a new folder here call it my king and that's it so this is bash code of course there are some plugins and also some VS Code preferences that I have to set up again. For that, I will probably just copy them because you can just go to your settings here. You can see them in JSON. Uh, so if you want to, oh, actually this is the wrong one, but this one. Um, so if I just paste my JSON settings here, it will be all right and everything is the way I want it. There are a couple useful settings that I use a lot. It's not that uh, special, but um, some of them are nice. One of them is this, because I don't like to have the whole thing space and switch away when I do this. So this is good. Um, why is this not working? Okay, it's working. Oh, there's something here. Nope. I don't need recommendations. Thank you. Um, I kind of forgot which plugins I use. I don't have a lot. Um, but maybe I can show you that in another one. So yeah, all I need to do now is uh, just copy my uh, my backup from my other Mac, my 2015 Pro, to this one, um, and then I can get started again. So I don't know about Windows, but on Mac it's quite easy to get started developing. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice weekend. And. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. So now I just made those two videos because they are... Because I quit in the middle. But it's easy to fix. I just go to edit. I say add clip to end. And there I can select the other one that I made after. Um, and as you can see, it just combines them. So now I can just click done, hit save, I guess I can just export it and I'm probably going to add the other one as well. So let's hope that this M2 can do this in a short bit. I think 33 minutes is not that good for 1080p. For some reason, uh, Mac thinks it's still pretty hard to comb to add two videos to each other. Although I do have to say the quality, it's like five gigabytes. But still, that that shouldn't take 45 minutes, should it? 
I think YouTube is way faster. So I don't really get that. Also don't get why there's so many things here on top instead of just my applications. But for the rest, Mac is amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's taking so much time. Like, where's the CPU going? Seriously, it's not even taking any CPU and memory. I truly don't get it, but yeah, doesn't matter. This is how you combine two videos. And now that's the end of my video session. Bye bye. Thank you.